there. Now that we've got our daily screams out of the way. Welcome to the credit report. My name's Danny. I know. I've gotten a haircut. Shaved it down the sides a bit. A little bit of the back. Danny, you look younger. I'm not. Older. Every day. But thanks. Researchers discover that laziness is actually contagious. This explains so much of your behavior, Mr. Elephant. <laughs> So, how did they do it? First, they took 56 regular people. I know you're thinking that's not nearly large enough a sample size to anecdotal and they're kind of projecting, but let's move past that. They asked the people a series of questions. Questions like, would you rather have a 90% chance of getting $5 or a 10% chance of getting $100? Oh man, I don't know. I mean, on the one hand, $5 is almost assured. On the other hand, $100 is $100. <laughs> would you rather carry a stack of books up the stairs, or would you rather someone else carry a stack of books and you watch them? Would you rather push a car with six other people helping you, or would you rather push a car while juggling cats? Would you rather help an old man down the stairs, or would you rather punch an old lady in the face? What kinds of questions are these? And then they asked the participants, what do you think the other people chose? Uh-huh. Most people guessed that people chose the things that they chose because people believe that people believe what they believe. Apparently, that's a thing. It's called society. Social societal, I think is the scientific word for it. But then the researchers did something tricksterers. They told the participants that no, no, that the other group, that the other people in the group didn't actually believe what they believed. They believed something else. The fake participants' answers always leaned towards being lazy. They would rather push a car with help rather than juggling cats. Now the stage is set and the participants are asked another series of questions more diabolical than the first. Uh. And what they found was that the second time around, people answered more lazily -ler. From this, one can deduce that A, human beings are social animals, perturbed, <laughs> and two, that laziness is somewhat contagious. Now I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, oh my God, this makes so much sense. I can now blame my laziness on everyone around me. And you're absolutely right. Science has proven it. It is not your fault. It is always somebody else's, except when you're alone, sitting by yourself, it's just you, then it's your fault. So you know, final summation. I highly recommend going out and getting some lazy friends that you can blame your horrible life on. I think is what we can really, is the real takeaway here. Huh? Oh my God, I'm going to go to Los Angeles. If you live in the Los Angeles and you want to come to a fantastic comedy show starring this guy, <laughs> then go to the thing, type in your email address, and I will send you the information via the email. I love you, my little lemon drops. Do join us on Friday when we continue our very important work. Don't be lazy, son of a bash. Don't be lazy. Get off of your anus. Poke someone else. Oh, hey, oh, hey. Butt joke, that's what I'm saying.